Hey YouTube, it's me again. I know it's been a long time since I made a video. It's been a hot minute, but it's springtime and we are going to make some potato salad and some fried chicken. What? Um, I'm going to be honest with you because I'm not from the South. I was not schooled in fried chicken by my grandmother or my mom. So a couple years ago, I cheated and I looked up a Paula Deen recipe, but in my defense, I did change it to my liking and it was pretty good. So, but my potato salad, that's all me, boo boo. Don't go there. All right, so here we go. Potato salad. Um, just take your potatoes and cut them into six. I have red potatoes. Um, I got about, what, babes, what are you about seven of them, seven, eight red potatoes. I cut them up into um, one, two, three, four, five, six, so eights. I cut them in eight pieces, um, a half of one. Anyways, um, and I have about six boiled eggs in here. And I am going to add black olives. This brand right here, y'all, oh my God, it is so freaking good. I've tried a lot of brands, but this one right here is so flavorful. And I know in the South, people don't eat a lot of olives, but look, I'm not from the South, y'all. I'm from the West, okay? So we eat olives. We eat weird shit. We eat like, you know, olives and artichokes and cilantro, okay? We love it. So anyways, I'm, you've seen me chop this up a million times in my other videos. I'm going to add this, <clears throat> look at that whole can, to my potato salad. Okay, and you've heard me also talk about Hellman's. I don't use anything else. Do not skimp on your name brand mayonnaise because I'm promise, I promise you it is going to make a difference. So we're going to add about two big, big things of mayonnaise. Things. <laughs> we love mayonnaise around here, okay? I'm just saying. All right, so we're going to add that, and then we are going to put a little bit of mustard in here. My oil is, like, can you turn that down, baby? Please put it on, like, five, just because, you know, we've talked about that, too. Oil's dangerous. But anyways, all right, so we're going to put, like, that's probably good. Actually, that's probably slightly a bit overboard, just not everybody likes mustard, but I like that little tang, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm going to add... Hey, how many eggs? There was like six. I think I said like six. Pepper, salt, mm. and that's literally it, guys. You don't want like too much because you want all that other stuff to, to come. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Can't forget the pickles. Okay. Look, I'm going to tell you this. Whole dill pickles. Kosher pickles are just not as flavorful. As the whole deals. The whole deals, they're hard to find sometimes, but it's worth it. It's like, you know, when you go to McDonald's or whatever and you get the dill pickles on your sandwich, they are very, they just don't taste like the kosher deals. They're much better. So use these, okay? We're going to add our pickles. And we are going to mix this up. I probably should use a fork. Cause this, you are the man. Thank you, darling. Cause I need to like break this up a little bit. Anyways, the potatoes, I cooked them for like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. And the eggs too. 20 minutes on both, the eggs and the potatoes. Salt, pepper. Oh my gosh, and y'all look, okay. So I have chickens, right? And I've had this bowl of chickens. But you do know, or chicken eggs. But you do know that... You can leave them out as long as you don't wash them. If you have chickens and you have eggs, you can leave them out on the counter and they don't go bad for a long time. So I boiled all these eggs and I'm like, yeah, okay, and so I'm getting ready and I'm putting my eggs, you know, I'm cracking my eggs and I'm shelling them. And I'm like, all of a sudden I break this egg open and it was green, y'all. It was green and it stunk so bad and I was like, well, damn, that thing's been in there a long time. Anyways, now watch your eggs. But I didn't use it. 
Oh my. <laughs> right. All right, so. Um, all right, I'm going to let Zach taste this because he's my taster. He's my cameraman and my taster, so he's going to taste this real quick. But I'm trying to get these potatoes mashed up just a little bit because you don't want them too chunky. And I did cut them a little big. You can cut them smaller if you want to. But tell me if it needs more mayo, babe. I doubt it. <laughs> because you know I love mayo. I doubt it. You doubt it? Okay, taste. Does it need anything? It's good? It doesn't need salt or pepper or anything? Nope. Perfect, huh? Yep, it's really good. See? You may like a little more salt, but a you know, more I, salt? I'm good with it, but you may like more salt. I may like more salt? Yeah. My right. hands are dirty. A bit, right? Yep. Alright, cool. Alright. So, guys. I have to taste it, though. I have to, because I'm hungry. So good. I just do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. That's good. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands. All right. So, moving on to the fried chicken. Okay. So, a lot of people listen. I don't know how... <laughs> And, and I'm not, and like, I'm not trying to be rude, but I don't know how black people do it because I'm telling you, their chicken is off the freaking chain. I suck at fried chicken. So I cheat. I boil mine first. I boil it for 15 to 20 minutes because if I don't, it's raw. I don't know how they do it. I really don't. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so I boil mine for 15, 20 minutes and then I flour it and then I fry it. So. I boiled this for 15, 20 minutes. All right, my flour, it is all-purpose flour, right, babe? It's not like... Mm, not quite sure. Yeah, it's all-purpose flour. Okay. So all-purpose flour, and then I use this stuff. Girl, this stuff is off the chain. I love this stuff. This stuff is awesome. It's spicy. You don't want to use too awful much, but it's really good. So I put this in my flour, probably about two to three tablespoons of it um, in my flour. Mm -hmm. And then I have an egg wash, okay? And this is like four eggs. I don't need a lot because I only have five pieces of chicken this time. Not green it's eggs. Just, shut your mouth. I'm gonna feed you green eggs and ham. Anyhow, so I'm going to add Cajun seasoning, mm. y'all. Yeah. I know, mister, I don't like spicy food because I'm from the South and I don't know what that's all about. But that's all right. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. It'll be all right. And I'm gonna add some hot sauce. Okay, Paula Dean did add hot sauce to her egg wash. No, was it her? Yeah, she added hot sauce to her egg wash and I'm telling you, it's off the chain. But I added the slap your mama to my flour so that's my shit all right all right ready so i'm gonna add some hot sauce not too awful much zach's like please don't please don't he hates spicy food y'all he really does i'm not a hater he's just not a huge fan i guess i don't like it the next day <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna leave that one alone okay so uh-oh, let me see if my grease is ready. Okay, guys, remember I told you how to check your grease. Turn it back up. Oh. Yeah. Oh, baby, turn it down. You told like me. Down. To... Oh, did I tell you that? Mm. My bad. All right, it's so on so... camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I need a glass of water. Remember, I'm going to tell you over and over again, be very careful with grease when you do this. If you put too much water in it, it's going to be bad. Water. So you just mm. put a tiny, tiny bit, and it's not ready yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be hotter. <laughs> hey, guys. All right, so Back. I saved one piece to show you how I did it. 
but I did it already. And look at my hands. This is so mm -hmm. gross. I hate this part of the visit. I really do. All right, so the visit. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to put this in mm, egg white. Egg whites. Part. Yeah, we like. Yeah, really get her done. You know what I'm saying? All right. And then we're gonna put this in flour and just really push it in. That's what I do. I just I want lots of breading. You know. All right. So. We got it all breaded out. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. All right, I had made a freaking mess. I just cleaned this kitchen. All right, hold on. I gotta wash my hands. Three. All right, guys, so wash my hands, and I am ready to cook my chicken. Um, all right, let's see. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's hot enough. Oh, yeah. It's pretty hot. All right, so let's hope I don't overboil it. Nah, we're good. Mm. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. It's and, I mean, you can use, you know, um, you can use a deep fryer or whatever, but I really prefer my cast iron skillet. I love this crazy right. thing, dude. Like, I really do. It's okay. We're good. I know it sounds intense, but we're okay. Um... Yeah, as long as it's not frozen, you're okay. Because me and Zach had an episode one time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were it using our fryer and we threw some frozen chicken in there. Oh my God, y'all. It was all over the counter. There was oil everywhere. We were like, it was bad. It was bad. It took us like two hours to clean up. It was horrible. Anyway, so. Yeah. We're going to let this fry on this side for about, I don't know, what do you say, six, seven, eight minutes, something like that. Because remember, I already boiled it, so it's, I think chicken. it's pretty close to being cooked already, yeah. so we're just kind of trying to crisp that outside. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. It's only got to be yeah. at 165 is the temperature for chicken, uh, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. 165. Don't hold me to that, but. Yeah, yeah, it's like 165 <laughs> or 185, something like that. 